so we're back again with now episode four of the budget squad and i just got to start it again by saying thank you because the support on this series is absolutely crazy like last episode we got over 1300 likes so thank you but it's pretty crazy to think that it's only episode four and you have a look on screen and you can see my team and it looks very nice there were two comments from last episode i saw though and one was suggested to get ruby or sapphire donovan mitchell and the next suggestion was to upgrade my sapphire chris Dapps to the ruby version so when we look at my auction out comes i did actually try and sell everything from last episode that i wasn't using so once i go through and redeem all of it that means i have about 4,800 mt so i'm not complaining with that and right now ruby Kristaps is going for about 12k so i don't think we'll be able to get him this episode because unfortunately this is the first episode of the budget squad where they haven't released any moments challenges so it's pretty difficult to get mt but you may have noticed when you look at my team now the one issue that we're having is contracts so what i'm going to do i do show this pretty much every single time but you can see the team that I'm going to play with and the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to play a few of the first schedule games in the schedule mode to be able to get that reward down there being the contract pack. So it's going to cost me quite a bit to buy the contracts that I need but it's just what we got to do. 560 MT, there it is. So all I have to do is just win this game when it's 80 all right now. So hopefully we can do it with this team and let's just go in with Victor Oladipo. First possession, getting free throws. This is going to be easy. And as the clock is now running down, you can see that we won pretty easily. Let's just take the shot with Brooke Lopez because why not we won by eight and because I just did that challenge we do get this contract pack and let's hope we get a gold or maybe a couple of silvers and we get neither of the above we only get five bronzes but that's all right but whilst I am about to hop into this second schedule game there is one player on my team that I do want to sell before we get into the online game and I think you guys can probably tell who that is it is Ruby Brooke Lopez because I know for other people this card is an absolute monster but for me to be honest he doesn't really fit my play style just because he has a 93 open shot three but to be honest i don't take any threes with my centers which is why for 3500 mt i'm gonna put him back on the auction house and while i wait for him to sell i am actually gonna hop into this next game to try and get another contract pack and as i'm up two points i'm pretty confident i can get this win pretty much every time i don't think it's that difficult going in with Dion waiters it's done and after i just finished that second game we do have another contract pack so let's hope that this one isn't all bronze i don't know i have got a goal before so i'm not too sure this one is all bronze though and the question is did Brooke Lopez sell the answer is no but that's all right though because when you have a look at the team now I can actually add my contracts which means I don't have to pay any MT and because 2k released this new primetime collection there actually are two players that I want from this collection oh 500 MT that's a bit of a snipe and Mecca Okafor welcome to the squad I was gonna do like a little speech as to why I wanted this card but I guess I just had to buy it instantly and I guess I'll do that speech now so he's six foot ten 91 on offense 96 on defense and if you guys watch any of my other videos, one of the most important stats for me is a driving layup on my centers. And he has a 95, which is one of the best in the game. And like a 78 mid-range is fine. He can't shoot the three, but I don't shoot threes with my centers. 70 free throw, really good passing, extremely good rebounding, and pretty good defense too with a 95 block. But then his dunking is extremely good with 95 standing dunk, and he also has 70 speed. This card fits my play style like no tomorrow. And then the next card I've heard so much talk about is this Ruby Amar Shumpert. So 1,200 MT, welcome to the squad. Because this card's stats are just crazy good because he's six foot five, 94 on offense, 94 on defense, 92 driving layout within an 89 open shot three. And like every stat of this card is good. 96 lateral quickness, 96 steal. The thing that I personally like the most is his 95 driving dunk, 80 contact dunk, 90 speed, 90 excel, 97 vertical i mean those stats are so nice and for this game i think i might actually start this aman shumper because i've heard extremely good things about him and to be honest i'm super excited to get into this online game because the team looks so much better with this Emeka okafor and also aman shumper added to the squad so yeah other than those two additions the team is exactly the same and this is going to be the final game of our placement matches so hopefully we can go three and two even though it should be two and one right now but anyway without further ado let's get into this game and we've found our opponent. To be honest, I'm hoping for a good team. And he does have a nice one. So this should be actually a really good game. I tell you what though. Next episode, I really need to change my uniforms. Because to be honest, this episode, I forgot. But we will later change them to a bit more white. It's good that we can definitely tell who's who though. But let's just try and play good defense against James Harden. He's going inside. And Marge Shump is starting extremely well with getting that strip. And let's actually feed him on the first offensive possession. And he'll get the dunk. And Marge Shump's first play being a steal. Then 
then also an easy bucket on the other end. I'm not complaining with that. Let's go in with Brent Barry, though. On the drive, kicking out. We've only got two seconds. That is not good. Taking a bad shot, making it, though. On this next offensive possession, I'm just hoping Shaq can get something done for me. Or Aman Shumpert. He's definitely showing that he's a good player. Let's go inside again. Can he finish that? Free throws. I actually really want to check out his free throw release. 92%. He's not missing those. I just really need to watch out for that Steph Curry. And let's go inside. Kick it out to Carmelo. Alone. Kick it back. That was actually not where I wanted to give it, to be honest. But it's going to work out with Shaq down low. I am so happy I gave this a Mars jump at the start. He's definitely showing me that he's worth it. And let's not take that. That was actually really bad. Not going to lie. But let's go in with Brent Barry. Can he jam it? All get blocked. Brent Barry legitimately has 99 dunking stats, and you're telling me it gets blocked. We make the three in reply, though. And to be honest, I can already tell this is going to be a close and a good game. And Jeremy Lin, I'm going to need you to make that one. Let's go. I'm so happy I started this series when I did, because it would have been so much worse if we didn't have this Jeremy Lin. And I could have taken that three. I probably shouldn't have done that little step back. But that's all right. Let's kick it out to him here. Going inside, and Amon Shump, it's wide open. Let's just catch and shoot. Will he make his first three? He will. Oh, Amon jump it's wide open again no he's not no he's not let's kick it back oh no this is not good yes it is good we get the dunk and you guys can see it i've got my bench on and i'm actually running victor oladipo at point guard so i think zach levine might get the boot if victor's very good and let's go inside and mecca oak for his first play he's getting the dunk and of course we've got Dion waiters at shooting guard who's such a nice player as well and let's go inside give it to a mecca oak for again go up get the end one how's his free throw release is my question it's pretty cash and he makes it as well oh we get a steal Dion waiters all right I see Chris Dabbs behind me. I see Oak 4 actually. Who's got the driving layup? Who's got another dog? This Emeka Oak 4 already has seven points, and I think it's only been about a minute or so in the game, which is definitely good. Let's pump fake that. I'm not taking that one. Let's go in with Dion Waiters. What have I got? Chris Dapps. Pump fake that one. I'm not sure what I'm doing on this possession, but let's try and get something open. Give it to Oak 4 again. Go up. Free throws. I got to say, I am liking this card so far. He's making plays. Can he go 3 of 3 from the free throw line? The answer... No, no. It's no. But we're up 5 points, and hopefully Victor Oladipo can get something to go here. He's got the assist. If Joe Wallace wants to make the 3, which he will. I just find it insane that this is the team we're rocking with. Like, I'm actually pretty comfortable with beating most teams that I go against with this team that I've got right now in the fourth episode of the Budget Squad. But let's go inside here. I know I'm sort of cheesing, but it's really what I have to do. Let's give it to Oak 4. Give it back out to Chris Dabbs. Catch and shoot. Chris Dabbs, Porzingis, misses that one. But we do have a wide open three with Dion Waiters. But I was just a bit too late. Giving it out to Chris Dabbs for his second one. He's not missing two in a row. It's a little bit annoying, but it just seems like we can't really blow out this lead, which is definitely what I want to do, obviously. But let's go inside. Give it out to Gerald Wallace. Give it back to Dion Waiters and go to the left, I guess, and then just go straight up and jam it on Carlos Boozer. I just found it weird to say Carlos Boozer because I've never really gone against him in 2K, but Victor Oladipo to a Mecca Oak 4. That's going to be like a dynamic duo for the budget squad, that is. It's not going to have anything to do with real life, and let's just give it back to Victor Oladipo. Go inside. I see Oak 4 once again, and I thought Boogie was going to collapse down, but he just didn't, but let's give it to him and get another dunk. So up 7, and my bench definitely turned up. I'm about to bring my starters back on because obviously my starters are better than my bench. But let's go inside once again. And okay, that's not what I wanted. But pump fake there. And Mecca Okafor, he's bailing us out. Okay, so my starters are back on. And Carl Malone hasn't really done too much. So can we get something here? He jumped. Shaq dunk. So if you guys don't know, the main thing in 2K that I take most of my pride in is my defense. So hopefully we can continue our good defense because that's usually what win wins me my games. And that's perfect right there. So let's try and get across and give it to Brent Barry who's wide open for three. Transition scores is what I'm known for. I'm so happy I've got my starters back on. And to be honest, when I say my starters, I'm so happy that I've got my man Amon Shump and what a lob there though. All I got to say is so far, this has been a terrible game by Karl Malone. He's missed so many shots. I haven't shown them just because they've been really bad. Let's actually get a pick and roll by Shaq. Let's try and hit him. Let's try and throw the lob. Will it work? It does. And again, defense is going to be key on this possession. So Karl Malone might not be good on offense this game, but defense, is he going to be? And that's pretty good. I mean, it's not the greatest shot. He missed it. And let's give it to Jeremy Lin once again. Who have we got? I see Shaq down low, but I think that would be a bad shot if I tried to throw a lob to him. But let's just go inside with Karl Malone. I don't think he's even scored, to be honest, but he has got a couple of assists. Let's take that one and take the dunk. That's his first two. And I think this is where I actually start lifting my lead because I feel confident now that we've 
sort of in control. Let's go inside. Brent Barry. Brent Barry with the dog. I'm just seriously hoping my opponent doesn't quit right now because that would not be good. But Carl Malone, he's finally starting to score with the N1. He missed the free throw though, so it really didn't matter. And we've got 10 seconds with Jeremy Lin giving it out to Carl Malone. And you know, this is already a bucket with my man Shaft. No way! No way did that just happen! Shaq just made a three. Shaquille O'Neal just made a three. Not to mention that three was also lightly contested and it was such a bad release. He still made it on the buzzer. I'm not complaining. And Mark Shumpert wide open. You already know. But, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe two. The second one has to go in. Buckets. It's actually pretty funny because you could make a statement to say that my bench has played better than my starters. Although both of them have played extremely well. So when your team plays well, you know that you're getting this win. And Shaq has been on that grind. We get a steal there. And Dale Waiters is going to be wide open for another three pull it and make it i could not tell you how happy i am with this team right now they are so nice and that was not even the best shot on okafor but he made it anyway let's give it to victor oladipo and you already know what's going to happen on this possession we're going to give it out to my man chris Dabbs. go inside and give it to Omeka okafor take the pump fake go inside the post give it out to chris Dabbs. wide open for three and make it like if you haven't noticed my game is that i play a four out one in so i need my power forward to be able to shoot but my center doesn't have to shoot at all. As this Emeka Okafor has seriously surprised me, and I'm not even lying about that. And he's probably going to get another two points here. Giving it to him again. Going baseline. Pump fake that. Go up. Will he make it? He misses. He gets his own board. Goes up again and makes that one. It's already another bucket with him. Every time. Oh, that rebound too. I'm in love with this card already. And let's pull this three in transition. Will he make it? Yep. It was actually only a two, but you know what? That's all good because we're up 22 points, playing perfect defense on this possession and getting the rebound as well, which I didn't really expect because I jumped at a terrible time. Victor Oladipo on the other end, giving it to Chris Dabbs, going up, getting a dunk. And just like that, I'm going to play like a sportsman. And we ended up winning this game by 24 points against a really good team. So I'm happy with that win from the budget squad. And I mean, just have a look at these stats. So Mecca Oak for 10 minutes, 20 points, four rebounds, one assist, one steal, one block, only missed one shot. And the one he missed, he got his board, put it back up and got the score. Shaq had 17, eight rebounds, three assists, one steal, one block, two turnovers, eight of eight. I mean, and one of one from three. Just remember that. And Mon Shumpert as well with 10 points. Jeremy Lin with eight, six assists, eight to Chris Stapps. Everyone that played except Victor Oladipo scored, but Victor had six assists. So I'm not complaining with that. And when we have a look at the team comparison, you can see we shot 65% from the field and 53% from three. So I'm not complaining with that. And just like that, we went three and two in the placement matches. So that means we are welcome to the Sapphire tier in the normal round of Supermax. And I was talking up my team a lot before we started that game. And to be honest, I can just talk them up more because that game was so nice from this squad. Like seriously, every single player put in work. Although I didn't use this Zach Levine, I might have to sell him soon because Victor Oladipo is definitely a good replacement at that point guard position. So yeah, the start of next episode, I should have about 7,000. 900 MT so be sure to let me know down below who I should pick up because to be honest I have no idea who I want to pick up because my team played so nice so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the fourth episode of the budget squad I certainly did getting a win by 24 points against a pretty nice team I am not complaining so thank you guys for watching this video smash that like button like you have been doing before if we can get a thousand likes it'll mean the world and thank you guys for watching subscribe for new and I'll catch you in the next video bye